Imagine it's a hot summer day. You're outside all day at work doing physical labor. You're sweating like crazy and your heart rate goes up. But that's normal, right? You're just working hard like you do every day. Suddenly, you pass out and you wake up in a hospital, not sure of what happened. That's a reality for too many workers experiencing heat stress. Not only is this devastating for workers, but it costs the industry billions in lost labor with a projected cost of $8.1 billion by 2030. There are three types of heat-related illnesses, or HRIs, that increase in severity. Dehydration, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. In the U.S. alone, there are over 15 million outdoor workers that are susceptible to these HRIs. Out of these, over 6,000 people are hospitalized every year, costing $120 million in medical expenses. About 1 in 10 hospitalization cases result in death which is far too many for something that is entirely preventable. Employers are interested in purchasing HRI prevention devices to reduce these lost labor hours, and insurance companies are incentivized to decrease medical costs. The key sectors employing outdoor workers are construction, agriculture, forestry, and environmental work. Existing solutions fail to effectively detect HRIs. This environmental heat stress monitor is the only commercially available product. It's a handheld device measuring the environmental temperature and humidity, but it doesn't measure any personal biometrics. A construction site supervisor will use it in combination with government recommendation charts to tell workers when to take breaks based on the humid X. Another existing solution is this research project. It's a device that uses a series of biometric and environmental sensors, but it's far too bulky and fragile for practical use. It also lacks a method of accurately detecting hydration levels of the user. At NoStroke, we're developing an armband device to empower worker safety. Our device includes both environmental and biometric sensors. It's accompanied by a mobile app with group monitoring that allows site supervisors to inform workers when they're at risk of an HRI and what precautions to take. A unique feature of our technology is an ion selective sweat sensor that identifies concentrations of salt ions, which are biomarkers for dehydration. This sensor uses nanotechnology to enable personalized dehydration sensing in our device. This is a feature that has yet to reach the market from any other health monitoring device. And with our novel fabrication process, it costs less than $2 per sensor. We'll be selling our armbands in direct B2B sales with a one month trial period for customers. Our pricing is around $150 per armband and we'll have discounts for larger batch sales. We will also collect recurring monthly income from sweat sensor sales at $2 per sensor. We're setting up partnerships with insurance companies who want to lower their medical expenses to incentivize employers to buy the no-stroke armbands in exchange for lower insurance premiums. Our market size is 15 million outdoor workers in the US and 1.5 million in Canada. At $150 per device, our total market size is up to $2.5 billion. To date, we've, spent, uh, we've completed several prototypes and are in the testing and validation phase. We're speaking with both insurance companies to set up incentive partnerships, as well as environmental companies to launch our pilot testing program with workers. Based on these discussions, companies have expressed interest to us in purchasing a product to track and mitigate HRI risk for their employees. This is our current prototype with an adjustable armband for user comfort. The strength of our value proposition is combining multiple sensing technologies into one compact and affordable device. Our IP strategy involves filing a technology disclosure within the next couple of months, after which we will file a provisional patent for both our sweat sensor technology, as well as the entire wearable device that combines multiple sensors in a novel way. NoStroke's co-founders have a diverse background in research, sensing technologies, and hardware development. So we're the right team to bring this product to market. Not only do we have the appropriate technical background, but we also have a strong understanding of the problem and market space. One of our co-founders was unfortunately hospitalized from a heat stroke two summers ago, and this sparked our interest in solving this problem. Our consultants are experts in the field of venture creation and wearable electronics, and they've been instrumental in advising us. In conclusion, HRIs are a serious medical emergency, costing millions in healthcare and billions in lost labor. This is completely preventable with personalized detection tools. We are no stroke and we are here to redefine safety for outdoor employees. Thank you.